Hi there, gorgeous. My name is Nicole Lisa. I'm a transformational love coach. I've worked for years with amazing empowered women from all over the globe who are committed to attract the really high level type of love. Today's video is part of a video series that I'm creating for you during this month of December on how to truly become the most attractive and empowered woman you know, in love. And also, I created an amazing love energy forecast for you that is gonna really support you with this video series and for the rest of next year too. Make sure you subscribe to my community. The link is below for you to subscribe. And also make sure that you subscribe to my channel to get more videos on how to really, truly create this relationship. I've been doing this for years. And as I said on the previous video, I wanted to talk to you today about looking at the energies that I find affect women the most and feeling desirable and feeling good and feeling attractive. Most of the conversations that I hear are about, uh, Nicole, how do I keep the attraction for the long haul? Is it true that the attraction is going to dissipate later on when we are in a relationship? What do I need to do? What do I need to say? You know, in fact, if you ask me, this is like one of the most researched topics everywhere. And, you know, words to say are fine. They're great. There's people out there who have amazing brilliance in knowing what to say and props to them, you know, they are amazing. And at the same time, um, it is very important too that as women that we look at the shadow aspects, the unconscious things that are playing in our psyche, that are affecting the feminine psyche in general, that are making us question our worth or be too anxious or nervous around men. And that with that fear can have us really prevent what we want coming to us. So I wanted to share today this, this concept of actually starting to really um, become aware of what your shadow tendencies are, the shadow tendencies of the feminine that are in the collective that are affecting you, and for you to really get the value and the importance that there is in actually clearing them, taking ownership of them, and releasing them. I've seen this to show up for women more so than men. I believe that it shows up in a different way than men. But for many women, the, one of the most common things is the belief that you're not gonna be understood, you're not gonna be supported, other women are out there to get you. I don't know if you felt this energy where you feel like women are not happy for where you are at. Maybe you get snide comments or you feel like you, there are other women that are trying to compete with you or you are trying to compete with them or even just defend yourself. No matter where you find yourself in that spectrum, you are lovable. You are worthy. I feel like for many women, we've been sold this idea of scarcity that has affected us and it has reached to our hearts where you feel like you've you shine, other women are not going to be able to shine. Or if another shines, a woman shines, you are not seen and you will not be able to shine. Or maybe you will be able to shine, but you carry that hurt and that pain in you. And the solution to this is really, truly many, like I'm going to be sharing many videos that are going to really help you tap into this because this is quite deep, but it's something that really needs to be addressed, okay? Uh, we've been taught to shine over other women. We're always taught to be like, you know, you got to compete. You got to be the best woman out there. And it's just a lot of survival energy. It's stressful. And what we need to do as women is to support each other. You know, another woman shining um, is something to be really happy about because you get to shine too. Instead of comparing yourself or looking at the outside world, to determine whether you're worthy or not, to always be stressed out or in competition with other women, feeling like you have to get the best clothes, you have to get the best style, you have to get the best stylist, or you have to get better, a better degree or a better job. And even finding a little bit of satisfaction in that, there's also the flip side of finding, in many cases, anxiety if you feel like another woman is getting ahead of you. It's a, it's a narrative that it's not helping us as women, okay? We're not really in competition with each other. 
I really believe that as feminine beings, we get to really own the energy of I am the universe, meaning the man that I attract, okay, he's going to be the observer, you know, me and my man, right? Like he's, I'm going to be his universe. Okay. I am the universe. So for the right man, I am the universe and I get to be the universe for myself first. And because I am the universe, I don't need to be in competition with anyone. What I actually need to do is that I need to love all aspects of me and fall in love with me and not try to create a lifestyle where I have to achieve things to be good enough. I have to achieve things to be better because that energy is not only subtle, but it's, it's for me, it's, it's toxic. I hear so many women with like amazing women that they're at the top of their game feeling like they have to go for more. They always have to even, even this energy of competition that secretly says, I'm not good enough. Has you try to compete with men? Has you try to compete with the men that you date? Has you try to compete with the men that show up for you to date with? Not only does it show up with men, but I hear a lot of women that their secret underlying fear, and this might be something that shows up for them uh, consciously, they know it already, or it's secretly unconscious of when we work together, it comes out, is that they have this fear that if they don't achieve this level of success, what's going to happen is that the man is not going to think that they're good enough. They don't want to be um, a weight for the partner. And if you ask me, there's a lot of misconceptions going on out there of feeling like we have to prove ourselves. That energy of proving ourselves, it's not, I don't want to be insensitive because I understand what I'm saying, what I'm saying. Like, I understand what's going on in the world. I, you know, as a black woman, I get what it means to put myself out there and to have other people attack me for my skin color. I am, I'm not being insensitive. I'm, I'm talking about something deeper that I talk with my clients where that strife energy, carrying it with you. Yes, you can observe certain things that are going on in the world, uh, but don't take it in too deep to the point that it affects you and you become part of the system, part of the matrix. Okay. Yes. Like see it and then find peace within yourself to not take it in. And from that energy of peace, you can affect change. Okay. But if it affects you too much, right, then you find yourself spinning, spinning. And what I find is that this energy secretly, when it says I'm not good enough, I have to do things to be good enough. And when we look at feminine energy, when we look at masculine energy, masculine energy is the one that says I have to do to achieve, to like, to, to go places. The feminine is, I just have to be. So you just have to own that you're good enough. This energy of not good enough and feeling like you have to compete with other women makes you not, it makes you, it makes, it, it, it blinds you energetically. It puts you in survival. And because you're a powerful creator, we tend to attract what we really believe, not just consciously, but most importantly, what we attract unconsciously, like what we believe unconsciously. So if secretly you believe that men are not are going to think that you're not good enough, that you're going to be awake to them if you don't make X amount of money, right? Or if you believe that um, men are going to think too much if you make more than them. Or if you make a lot of money, it's going to be hard and difficult for you to find one. If you make a lot of money, if you're successful and you let yourself shine, your girlfriends are going to be mad at you. And you find yourself being around people, but not letting yourself truly shine. Then I want you to see how that is impacting you. Your quality of, not only your quality of life, but how is it impacting your soul? How is it impacting your soul? trying to shrink who you are to fit in with other people. This is an energy that needs to stop. We can't be competing with other women. Our job needs to be on how to really sink in within ourselves and love ourselves and just know that we are enough. We are everything. We are so vast as women. 
it's important that we fall in love with the vastness rather than feeling a threat all of the time. This energy of a threat is what makes us controlling, maybe manipulative, jealous, resentful. And all of those are lower vibration choices where you are indicating to a man that you don't know or own fully that you are the greatest gift, that you are a queen, that you are a goddess, that he should be devoted to. Okay? So this is affecting you in many layers. So we need to end this energy of competition. We need to become aware of the jealousy. We need to become aware of the resentment. We need to become aware of the competition. And we need to start feeling good about not only other women, but learn how to feel good with ourselves. So this is a topic that is not just, I address this because I work this with my clients at a very intimate and deep level. I want to help you feel good. I want to help you feel radiant and just own it and not stop shining because of what a family member might say and let yourself attract whatever type of love that you want, exquisite type of love that you want. And you also let yourself soar and become the greatest light that you know. Because in, we are meant to be the light as feminine beings. We're meant to be the light, the light of the universe. But what's happening is that we are tearing each other down, feeling like we need to become masculine to get what we want, and our light is dimming. There is a reason why, no matter the amount of success that you've achieved, you're still yearning for a man to really see your beauty, for him to see your essence. Because if you're really feminine to your core, that's what you desire the most. So no amount of money that you make is gonna make you feel truly seen. You can have it all, you really can. It's just that you need to start addressing these things that are in your psyche. Because I feel like we've all learned them in some sort of shape or form, specifically in the Western side. So we need to start really sinking in deep in regards to our beauty and our essence and to not stop because of jealousy or insecurity that other people are going on through. Like it's, it's not, my heart goes out to you, to everybody, to every woman. It goes, out to, it goes out to me. I've had to do amazing work on this for me to not let myself stop because of insecurities and you see the ego will try to make this normal for you you'll be like oh it's just a thing no it's an obsessive thought that makes you feel separate lost lonely hurt it makes you want to hurt you're hurting by carrying this with you so i want you to stop hurting and to love yourself enough to let go of this and to start finding peace and clarity and power inside of this so there are ways in which you can release this, and I work this in a great detailed way in my programs with my clients, specifically in the One Goddess of Love, uh, which is my signature program because I believe that every woman deserves to be really seen. And it's important to release these things from your psyche. You know, I grew up feeling like I was not beautiful. I was told that I was not beautiful as a kid. I had people laughing at my face when it came to my beauty. It shook me, it shook me to my core. I found a safe haven in being smart and intelligent. And then no matter how many times people told me, Nicole, you're smart, you're wise. I was like, and <laughs> does that make sense? I felt like nobody was really seeing me. So I had to do a lot of work to change this around. But the thing is, like I said in the previous video, the moment you think that your reality is determined by what's going on in the outside world, Right? Feeling like you have to compete. Feeling like you have to wait for a man to choose you. Feeling like there's a, a lack of men out there that are the right fit and they're not going to mentally stimulate you or are going to be compatible with you. Then you're not fully owning your power. You need to look at what's on the inside and make sure that all of your energy signals the same message. Okay? It needs to signal the same message, not through force, but to actual surrender and release of the fear ideas that you've been holding like a grip inside of you, in your heart and in your being. So I guide my clients through this process. This is not something that is done um, that I tend to do. Uh, like it's not, it, for every woman is different, right? Like we're so vast and it shows up in different ways. So I tend to work on it in really intimate groups because I wanna really help women 
shine. I know what it is like not to shine and to carry insecurity and resentment. But we need to come out of it. Okay? We need to come out of it. As men, I believe that men can be way more supportive of each other than us women. And we need to start showing up for ourselves more. So let me know in the comment section what you got from this video. This is the second video on truly becoming the most attractive and empowered woman that you know in love. Love to know your comments and make sure also that you subscribe to my online community so that you get more of an online forecast and prompts that are gonna really help you with this challenge and this video series to truly not only end the year right, but really start 2020 right. Like this is the end of a decade and you deserve to be cherished, all right? So you have an amazing opportunity here. This is not just any end of the year and I wanna truly help you really rise up to the occasion and dream, have the love that you've always wanted and not let yourself be stopped by anything, by anyone, by yourself, by life, because you can have it all.